What's up, Power Appers? It's good to be back making another video for YouTube. It's been a couple months since I've done that because since I made the last video, I fell off of our hoverboard and broke my arm. Yeah, that was real fun. Then I got a plate in my arm and 10 screws, and I have not been able to play hockey or lacrosse or anything since then, and it's driving me crazy. However, I'm going to make a full recovery, they tell me, and all my Bush League fans in the Hockey League, I'm sure, just can't wait to see that. <laughs> anyway, so I have a video for you here today, and this is actually kind of fun because I found this on my computer. It never got published to YouTube, and I made it a long time ago. In fact, two years ago. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to make a slide-in menu in a Power App. Typically, you'll find this in a mobile form factor power app where someone clicks a little waffle button in the corner and then the menu slides in from the side. So, let's learn how to do that now. It's good to be back. Thanks for watching. Before I show you how the code works here, I'd like to give you a demonstration of actually what we're building here. So here I have the Estimator Pro Power App Sample Template in the mobile form factor created. To create this same Power App sample template, what you'll want to do is head to web.powerapps.com, click Apps, scroll down until you find Estimator Pro, select the mobile form factor, then click Make This App. If you have not seen the different videos that I've created for Estimator Pro, I also have a video which gives you a complete walkthrough demo of all the functionality in the app, as well as an installation and configuration video and another deep dive. So if you haven't set it up yet and you're looking to get the code to do the same thing in your own Power App, what you'll want to do is watch that install video, uh, select the mobile form factor, then click make this app and that will install the Power App for you. Now, after you have the Power App in your own tenant, in your own environment, what you can then do is play the Power App, and you'll notice here, this is the form factor that matches a mobile device. Notice when I click the little waffle button at the top, now I have a menu that slid in and it pushed the rest of the screen over to the side. If I hit the X button here in the menu, it closes it and it comes back to the regular screen. So again, click, menu appears, click X, menu disappears. So I think you're going to be surprised how easy it is to implement this inside of a Power App. So as I mentioned in all the other videos I've done on the Power App sample templates we've created, my favorite way and I think the best way to investigate what's happening in Power App is to actually work with the Power App inside of the editor like I have here and then close the preview mode to bring it back into the editor experience and then you can get the app in the exact state you want as you inspect the controls. So as we look at the button that got the party started when we clicked it, we can see that this menu icon here has an on select event set to actually set a variable called show left menu to the opposite value of whatever show left menu was right now. So if it was true, it will become false. If it was false, it will become true whenever we click that particular button right there. The next thing is how does this value actually control showing the menu and sliding everything over? Well, if we take a look here at the X coordinate of the menu, we can see if show left menu is true, then this X coordinate is zero. Zero means the top left or the very leftmost coordinate inside of the device that's viewing the power app. If show left menu is false means don't show the menu, then we're going to set it to negative 410. 410 is the width of this particular menu here. So again, now if I come back to the power app, and I click it, now we can see that I have set the X coordinate to be zero, and now the menu appears. However, when I click the X button here, it disappears. So how do we make it disappear? Well, to make it disappear, if we look at the close menu icon, 
over here, we can see that even though it's out of view in edit mode here, when show left menu or when it's clicked, show left menu is set to false. And that will then automatically trigger that menu when this value is false to be negative 410. So that's the X coordinate associated with the menu itself. But what about the appointment list over here on the right? We use the same logic here inside of the X coordinate for the appointment list, but however here we trigger off show left menu. And if that's true, the appointment list is going to be out to 410 pixels to the right. If it's false, then it just snugs up against the very left. So as you can see, just a couple if statements and one variable and setting it in two different places. When I click here, turn it on. When I click here, turn it off. And now we're able to quickly implement that slide out menu inside of the Power App. I hope you find this technique helpful. And as I mentioned, if you'd like to duplicate it, just download this Power App and follow the code pattern we have here. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you next time.